From our first dance almost six years ago, you have filled me with an indescribable joy that has transformed my heart's capacity to love and that challenges me to be a better person every day. To say my life has gotten better since I met you wouldn't do the experience justice because you have radically changed the trajectory of it. I think my favorite story you guys shared with me was going to a bowl game, TCU. And Mike said, like, like a professional frat boy at 22 <laughs> who missed tailgating, he grabbed a few Four Locos, <laughs> took her into a porta potty, and they chugged before the game. And again, you're still here, man. <laughs> but she saw past the Four Locos. How did Brie fall in love with Mike? Theory one is Brie is, stay with me, part angel, part alien, who came to this planet to have a human experience. And she chose Mike to procreate with because he's alive. And that's important. found out I was getting to do this wedding, I kid you not, I heard the wedding of the century. <laughs> and it was going to be one of the most beautiful weddings that I was ever going to do, not just because of these two, but because of all you and all that. And they were right. <laughs> Since we met, it has become overwhelmingly clear that you were the one God intended my heart to seek. And it's with the same conviction that I stand before our friends, family, and Heavenly Father, so blessed and excited to be your forever friend and your wife. I kind of wish I had gone first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bree, you are my best friend and one true love. And I just cannot believe how incredibly blessed and fortunate I am to actually be standing here in front of you with the opportunity to marry you. Just mind-blowing. I promise to get to know you more and more with every day and love you in every season of your life. From the moment we first danced at Kappa Sig Pref. <laughs> Thanks for saying yes, by the way. Um, your smile, compassionate heart, Selflessness, your wit, and sarcastic sense of humor has molded my heart to a point that it can only be completed when conjoined with yours. Michael, it took me 25 years to figure this out, but I think the reason why Jesus didn't bless me with a baby brother was because he knew I would have another type of brother walk into my life. I'm so thankful you are filling those brother's shoes I wanted so desperately to be filled. I just hope those shoes are not as stinky as the ones that you have in real life. I don't know if you all know this, but long before this one became Mrs. Johnston, this one was Mr. California. <laughs> he carried more dresses and attended more pageants than any man I know. Welcome to the planet, Bree. May you live long and prosper. 
You have a thousand babies with Mike, take them back to your alien ship and do research and whatnot. The only thing I ask is that you please don't eat him. most exciting is that you guys get to continue your adventurous spirit in discovering one another for the rest of your lives. Even like you guys said, when the Ken and Barbie looks fade. <laughs> Michael, you're my life's biggest blessing. It brings me no greater joy than to be your partner for life, navigating every one of God's adventures now and to come right by your side for the rest of our lives. Everyone, uh, raise your glass. Now, I'm an actor, so you know, you gotta do something special. So I'm gonna attempt in my own white boy way to do a little rap for y'all. But don't worry, it's gonna be 60 seconds, which is gonna last longer than Mike's gonna last later tonight. So it'll be short and sweet. Here we go, boy, this one's for you. Ooh, I feel the inner Drake. Last name Johnston, first name Michael. Only thing he reveres more than Queen Breeze the Bible. Spitting that gospel, JC's blondest disciple with his two frat cats he calls Brad and Kyle. Low, PFP, pray for God, oh, Rikus. WTF does all that mean, me kid? Creating his own language, linguistical genius. Long as he cracks Breeze Morse code, he wins. Crown Miss Kelly, Barbie to his kin. She'll drink you under the table, then nurse you back to health again. Crushing Chalk Hospital, making kitty dreams come true. Thriving as Mikey's wifey, anything this chick can't do. Yeah, it's all about that Long Beach business. Until he catapults into the world of politics. So raise your glass to Mr. and Mrs. President of the U.S. in the year 2036. Cheers!